Hello there again everybody, this is UXW Bill, and hopefully this will be the last tape deck video I bore you with for a while. Those of you who watched my first video where it was tape deck season might remember this machine, the Technics, or Techniques if you simply must, RSM218. This is from uh, 1981 or 2, I believe. The date codes in it uh, pin its manufacture to somewhere around 1981. When I got this machine, it was marked as playing slow, and at first I thought, well, you know, it'll be bad belts, but the speed was actually quite stable. It was just slow. Now, I'm not sure how it got to be that way, and before you attempt to adjust a tape deck of your own, you probably want to make sure that adjusting the speed is not masking some other fault like a partially shorted tape driving motor or something like that. Now, most any tape deck with any semblance of quality has got a way to adjust the tape speed. In the case of this Technics deck, there's a hole at the back here which a service technician or uh, an intrepid homeowner or do-it-yourselfer could run a plastic tool through here. And It's very important that it be plastic because it needs to be non-conductive otherwise it might short something out or give you an electrifying experience. But you can run a tool through this hole into a hole on the back of the motor where there is a potentiometer that serves to adjust the running speed of this particular cassette deck. Now that's the basic how you do it, at least on this particular deck, but how exactly do you do it? Well, in order to do this, ideally you would have a test tape provided by your tape decks manufacturer or some company that specializes in such things. And you would hook a frequency counter up to the tape decks output so that you could tweak it precisely. But you can do a pretty good job at home if you have access to a couple of things. The first of those things is a piece of audio editing software that can actually create test tones. As you can see here, I have a copy of Audacity on my screen, and I have actually created a test tone here at uh, 440 hertz, which you can hear when I click on this. That's the first thing that you need. The second thing that you need is another tape deck whose speed you trust. This is very important, because what you're going to do is you're going to make your own frequency calibration tape, and so the deck that you make it on needs to be running at very close to the right speed, if not exactly the right speed for the best results. The closer it is to being right, the better off you're going to be when you go to adjust the other deck. Now, I actually started out thinking that I would use this Sony RX77ES deck to make that tape because I figured such a high-end deck could not possibly be off speed. Well, it turns out that it is, and it's off speed far enough that its real-time counter actually gives it away. This thing is running fast, so I'll have to figure out how to adjust the speed on this. Luckily, downstairs on my other Dell Dimension 8300 computer, I have a Pioneer cassette deck that I picked up at a garage sale whose speed accuracy is very, very good. So that's the deck that I use to make my test tape. So when you've got your test tape made, then you're ready to go ahead and start doing this. Here's how you actually go about doing this. The first thing to do is to start your tone generator source playing. In this case, I can just go ahead and press play within the Audacity window and the tone will start. Now I've given myself five minutes of tone to work with just in case this takes a little while to get it right. But once you've started your tone over here, go ahead and start your tape deck with your calibration tape in it. And what you're going to do when you start this playing, you will notice that the two tones are different if the speed is off on the deck you're adjusting. As you adjust the motor on the tape deck, the tones will beat against one another with a beat frequency. As you get closer and closer to the right speed, the beat frequency is going to drop until eventually the tones don't really beat against each other at all. And then you'll know that you've got your tape deck set to exactly the right speed, provided, of course, that the reference deck you made the tape with is working properly, as I believe my Pioneer deck downstairs is. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and start that tone, and then I'm going to adjust the motor on this cassette deck. Now the adjustment motor, the adjustment on the motor on this thing is very touchy. So I don't know that I can get it dead on. And I also don't claim to have perfect pitch, but I'm told that even if you're tone deaf, you can get very, very close using this method if you're careful and you pay attention to the beat frequency between the two tones and listen for it to drop. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Now the first things that I'll do before I start my test tone is I'll go over the settings on the tape machine to make sure that they're accurate and correct. 
For example, I want the Dolby noise reduction turned off because this is not a Dolby encoded tape, and I also want to put my adjustment tool in place so that I can just reach back here and conveniently turn it. When those things are in place, I'll go over here to the computer and I'll start Audacity playing the test tone. I'll go over here to the tape deck, wind the tape forward a little bit, and go ahead and start the test tone playing on it. You can tell that there are two different tones here right now, but listen carefully as I adjust this, and you'll hear the beat frequency of the tones against one another changing. Now the adjustment on this deck is rather touchy, so I may overshoot it here. over here. Let's actually try a music tape, see what it sounds like. Now this poor old tape of the Kentucky Headhunters has definitely been rode hard and put away wet. It's been a test tape in a couple of decks that were hungry and so its sound is not really the greatest anymore. See if we can find some vocals in it. All right, let's try a tape that's in a bit better shape. Let me give this a try. Pretty darn close, folks. 